Hi guys, I'm Taylor Spreitler and I'm here with PETA 2. My pets at home, um, their names are Pearl, who's a Chihuahua, and she was a rescue from a puppy mill. And then I have my bunny that's not actually out here with me anymore, but I have a bunny named PETA who um, is a rescue from Melrose. I went shoe shopping and somehow ended up with a bunny. Have I visited an animal shelter? Yes, I have many times and I've been to many animal adoption events and I would recommend adopting animals from shelters. There are actually like a lot of chihuahuas in animal shelters. Like I've noticed that a lot. Like there's a lot of actual purebred animals, but I think it's better because puppy mills are awful places, but if you get dogs from puppy mills, it makes breeders think that they can still do it because they're still making profit off of it. So yeah, I definitely think you should adopt from shelters. Dissecting frogs in school is something that I luckily never had to do because I've been homeschooled. My sister had to do it, she hated it. I know schools that make you do fetal pigs. How? <laughs> like, I don't even know how a teacher could like pull that up and be like, okay, we're gonna cut this open today. That's so weird to me. I think there's many alternatives. Technology is amazing now. Like, do it on the computer. You don't have to use live animals. It's weird and it's gross and I don't think it's right whatsoever. There's no point of going to a zoo. There's no point of going to a circus. Circuses aren't even fun anymore, honestly. There's many other things that kids can see. The best way to start out is working at your local animal shelter. Even bringing dog food and blankets and you know stuff like that to animals and animal shelters, there's a lot of people who don't have that because they don't have the funding. So that's definitely an easy way to help. And you can join PETA Street Team on Twitter. You know, they have a Facebook, they have MySpace, they have all of that, and that's a really good way to help.